Hi, this is Mark Snyder, and I'm going to just quickly go over some of the options for buying songs and how to get songs into your library on Worship Song Band. So, um, as you probably know, our file format is open and it's based on zip files that have tracks.txt files in them. So, we have several options for getting songs into Worship Song Band where we have partnered with track providers who already have songs in our format which you can buy and download into our app and so um, i'm just going to go over the process of like how to do that i'll just use our store as an example um, and then i'll show you some of the other options um, so so this is the worship song band store here um, i've clicked on the store link and i've clicked on worship song band tracks um, these are tracks that are available. So in our store, um, I think there's about maybe uh, 70 tracks in here. And I would say about 50, 40 to 50 of them are free. Uh, maybe 40 of them are free. They've been made available by independent artists that you can use directly in our app. So this is like a library of 40 tracks that if you like these songs, you can get started with them and use them basically. So in our store, if you wanted to buy a track, so let's let's say um, let's buy this uh, version of the Kyrie by a beautiful liturgy called Lord Have Mercy. It's a really nice song. So I just click buy now here. Okay, I've got one of these in my bag. I'm going to go to checkout and you can see here I have WSBT Lord Have Mercy tracks. Just click that. I don't need a coupon code. Check out. It's got my email in there. Place my order. And I have this zip file down here. Now with all of the track providers with Worship Song Band, um, it works the same. You get a zip file, you download it, and it's gonna download that song to your machine. So um, if you're on an iPad or Android, it will download into your browser. Um, if you're on a PC or Mac, it'll download um, just the same way any other content would download to your system. I'm just going to pause that because it's a little slow on this connection I'm on here. And I'm going to go to my download folder. And there it is. I did it earlier, just like a good cook on a cooking show. Anyway, so I have this Lord Have Mercy stems file here. And then all I really need to do is take that file, drag it into my library folder. So um, if I'm on an iPad or an Android, I can just basically tell my browser that I want to save this file and I'll, I'll click the selection like save to folder. And I could just go over to the worship song band folder and put it in there. In this particular case, I can drag it on top of my um, worship song band library folder or what I can do is I can just drag it right on top of worship song itself so I have worship song running here I'm gonna drag this file on top of it it says song Lord have mercy stems is already in WSB format add to library I'm gonna click OK and the song showed up in my library Um, one of the advantages of buying from at least um, some of our track providers is the songs come with chord charts in them, so they're ready to go, basically. Verse. How could a wretched mess like me become so blessed? Full heart be filled with holiness. Only by 
we can just enjoy this song for a little bit. Verse 2. Anyway, it's as easy of that as that on a PC or Mac. If you're on a, a mobile device, you'll have to do one more thing, which is typically you'll have to restart Worship Song Band after you add the song to your library. Anyway, so um, that's essentially how the process works. And then I'm just going to go over some of the track sources that exist real quick. Um, this is guidetracks.co, and if you run our app, you'll see a link to these sites right in your, um, right in your um, settings here. A link to the providers are here, basically, of places where you can just get tracks. And you can just click on those links, and it'll go right over to those, those sites, basically. Okay, so this is the song list. So, so let's go back to Guide Tracks. Guide Tracks has about um, 80 to 90 songs currently, and we're, we're pushing for a lot more on this site. These are mostly um, fairly newer stuff. Um, this is a site where if you want a track made, they'll make it for you. Just tell them what you want. They'll make it up and put it on sale. Um, these are basically um, depending, some of them are different prices. Um, you have to click the Worship Song Band category here. And then you'll get the current list of whatever the tracks are. These all have chord charts in them and are ready to go. Um, so so this, is a, this is a really good source for kind of the latest stuff. Um, and we partnered with the guy who runs this to, to um, make this available. The next one is Worship Backing Band, which I clicked on before. Now, Worship Backing Band's song list is about 300 songs. Um, and all of these songs are will work in Worship Song Band. What you need to do on this is when you buy a song here, you're going to download the version that they say is for their iPad player. Um, the songs that are for their iPad player also work in Worship Song Band. So you download the iPad version, put it in your library, it's ready to go. Now these songs do not have chord charts as of yet. So if you want to use the chord capability, um, you can buy the chord charts typically from them and you'll have to do that part of the setup yourself. I um, mean, in the future, we will be working to try to get the chord charts set up for this. Um, that's a little bit of work. So it may take a while to do it. Um, all of the songs from Worship Backing Band, here's an example here. They all have 14 tracks. They all have different, like two or three different clicks, cues that are set up, and um, vocals in, in, in there so you can learn the song, basically. So the Worship Backing Band is actually a really good source, and their library, I believe right now, is over 300 songs. Um, so you have our store, you have guide tracks, you have Worship Backing Band. Um, there's another site called iMusic lessons depot uh, these are mostly kind of midi based stems so these are these are a little bit uh, um, i'd say uh, like midi oriented so so not as much real instruments more midi based uh, but they have a ton of gospel stems here um, and they're at a good price as well so you can also go to iMusic lessons depot um, there's also some um, charts, some songs uh, on a site, praise charts. Um, about 80 of their songs work in our app. Um, there you have to buy the chord charts separately. Um, we, we aren't actively adding songs for praise charts right now, um, but uh, that doesn't mean we might not kind of restart that in the future. So it's definitely an option. So um, what I would do is work with the sites that I've shown you here to start with. And, and of course, you can always add your own because our file format is completely open. Um, anyway, so that's that's uh, the process of adding songs and populating your library from people who are basically selling songs for our uh, format already online in Worship Song Band.